Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this short tutorial I'd like to talk a little bit about how you can include custom objects inside of your resource dictionary. Uh, so normally in a Zimmerin Forms application for the resource dictionary, there's only a few uh, rather generic types of information that you can include here, such as a X string or an X array, uh, which by default uh, would be an array of very simple things like a 32-bit int or int32 or a string. And all of that's basically being pulled out of the XAML schema of uh, WinFX 2009. Um, but as it turns out, XArray uh, can basically support any kind of object because it's generic. Uh, as long as you go ahead and uh, basically create what you need um, so that it can be included here. So as you can see, uh, this X array uh, has a type, an X type, of local role. And role, the class and object, is being pulled out of my namespace for the project Salem Fake Gen. And uh, we can see it in this role.cs file. Uh, everything we need to know about this class, it's hardly more than uh, just kind of a structure because uh, basically just being used to store a bunch of different information, but it does have one relevant non-constructor method right here to get the random signature text. Uh, but for the most part, what's relevant to us here are these different fields that we can set in the resource dictionary uh, so that we can basically take these roles and use them elsewhere in our application. So uh, back in the XAML file, uh, we can see that Basically, to have this role object, you just need to reference the XMLS, uh, a namespace over here, uh, which uh, you would need to implement like this. Uh, CLR dash namespace, double dot, the name of your overall project namespace, and semicolon assembly equals... Uh, the name of your assembly name. Uh, we can actually find that if we right click on the project and go to properties. Da, 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 da. So we have the default namespace name and the assembly name. That's what needs to go here. So namespace name, assembly name, and then whenever you need to reference something out of your project, you just uh, have this local as the uh, start there. So it's local role um, in my case. And then uh, right after that, so this object's getting created in the resource dictionary, I can start defining uh, some of the values there. Uh, X key is just a name so that it can be referenced lower in the XAML file. Uh, the name is uh, the, it's just a string inside of the role object. We can see string name has a get method and a set method. Let's go back. Uh, visit target, secondary target, just integers that uh, mean things that are basically specific to my application. But just know that these are integers. And uh, because it's not an array or anything, we can just have it included in our local role tag, in our object tag. Uh, but then for the thing that is an array, the signature text variations back in the role cs file we can see this is a string array uh, we can actually include that nested within our object uh, by specifying the local dot uh, semi eh, local semicolon role dot signature text variation so we're saying uh, this string array um, and then we're going to add the data into that which x array uh, can basically take uh, take just about anything, any type, as long as you're going to specify what type that is. As you can see up here, it can be uh, your own custom object types, but it can also be just an array of strings. And then here I have all the values for that. So we just put those all in. This a generic string array gets uh, assigned to the signature text variations in the object. And the object is this local role here. All the other fields are specified over here. And uh, yeah, that's basically it for uh, putting it in a resource dictionary, at least at an initial level.
So I've been Chris, I hope this gives you a brief idea of how you can include custom object types within your resource dictionary for Xamarin Forms application. Uh, if it did help out, feel free to check out my Patreon, and until my next video, I'll see you then.